What the hell is going on? Let's knock it off and get back to winning ways. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Jason Mattis. Thanks for hanging out with me on this episode. The Wednesday edition of Winning Bets. We're giving out free sports picks every single day. And all today's show is about soccer. That's right. It's the Europa League final. Before we jump on into that Europa League final, let's, of course, make sure we recap yesterday. Wasn't as bad as Monday, but still brutal. Absolutely brutal. We went 2-4 and four on Tuesday's action, down 2.53 units, and now on the week, down 6.53 units. The only two winners we had yesterday is we had that Lakers money line, and then we also had no run the first inning in Dodgers versus Astros. Otherwise, everything else was a loser. We did a no run the first inning parlay. If we get that one to hit, we're really sitting pretty because that one was worth 1.97 units. But there were errors. Errors in the first inning cost that bet. It wasn't because these pitchers, you know, Flaherty got beat up. He allowed the first man, Tim Anderson, to get on via an error. I, well, it wasn't his fault. Obviously, there was an error. And then there was a hit by pitch. And then you get an out and an out. That should be the third out of the inning because of that error. That inning should be over. No runs being scored. We cash our nerfy parlay. But again, it's not what happened. Not only did they make one inning in that bottom of the first inning, they made two errors in that bottom of the first inning. Just really, really doubled down on the mistakes and really just killed us there. And then the reason the Cardinals emoji also gets the puke face is because we had them on the money line, and obviously all those errors contribute you know, to the White Sox building the lead. They were gifted five runs in that game through errors, and then they also scored a run on a pass ball. Well, they lost the game by five runs. So, yeah, the errors obviously took down our nerfy, and then they also took down that Cardinals money line. That was really upsetting to see because otherwise we had that game generally, near, you know, handicapped really well in terms of how it was going to go so just unfortunate there Yankees that one did not go for us that one gets the injury emoji because Corey Kluber pitched with a shoulder injury and actually exited that game in the third inning due to a shoulder problem shoulder tightness so just unfortunate there that we couldn't get a good Kluber quality start that we had talked about that had been happening. Instead, you get the Yankees, you know, having to use a, a, their a bullpen majority of that day, and then the Blue, the Blue Jays are able to take advantage and they're able to win that game. And then the Nationals, just a straight up good old sports betting loss. That one did not come through for us there as the Nats uh, went down two one, went down two one. So not a game that you know they got beat too bad, but. They did get beat, and that dropped us there for, yeah. So, terrible start to this week, but we're going to turn the page today. Today's all about soccer. We're going to see how these soccer bets go, and then maybe we'll get look to get into some baseball action later on the day. But we obviously know soccer comes up first in the afternoon. It's the Europa League final. we got Villarreal versus Manchester United. Obviously, it's no-brainer who I'm on, right? You guys know big old Manchester United fan wearing the jersey as we speak. Right now, already anticipation for this game. Game's not until 2 p.m. Central Time. I'm already rocking the jersey at 8 a.m. Central Time. I am ready for this game. I don't know a hell, hell of a lot about Vir Villarreal. I'm not going to sit here and act like I do know a lot about Villarreal. The only thing I do know about Villarreal is... When they were playing in Arsenal, followed, got a couple friends that are Arsenal supporters, and then just reading about that game online, Villarreal basically, or I should say Unai Emery basically did what he's been doing that entire time when he spent his time at Arsenal, and he wasn't very good at Arsenal, which is maybe get a lead and then just sit back and play defensive. I mean, that's what they were saying after that first leg when Villarreal went up 2-0. And then they pretty much gave Arsenal the ball, invited them to have their way with it. And then Arsenal ends up nicking a goal, you know, in that away leg and, and getting the all-important away goal. So uh, Villarreal just doesn't scare me at all here as a Manchester United guy. I don't care how Villarreal plays it. I'm not worried. Again, I don't know Villarreal. I'm not going to sit here and act like I've seen Villarreal games. I've not been watching Villarreal games this year. But I've watched all of Manchester United games. I know Manchester United plays in the best league of all the top flight European leagues. I also know there's two European Championship games over the next five days. You got the Europa League final and you got the Champions League final. And I know there's three English clubs of those four teams. There's three English clubs. So Manchester United tried and tested playing in the best league with the best teams. They got second place in that league. Easily got second place. They didn't wrap it up until the last couple of games of the season, but they were flying high, top flight, you know, throughout the majority of that season. So, and obviously what they've done in the Europa League, going through AC Milan, you know, going through Roma, going through good clubs, going through Real Sociedad. Real Sociedad is better than Villarreal. You know, so uh, Manchester United, they've done it. I'm expecting them to just kind of just have their way of Villarreal. 
I'm expecting them to have their way. They are the better team. If they don't win this game, it will be an upset, and everybody will tell you that it'll be an upset. That's how Manchester United should be getting the job done. So all my bets are around this game. This is a game I'm putting my focus in on, and I'm going to make it so we can get some winning bets from this game. The first one here is going to be a promo. You guys got to check this out. Over at Barstools, you can bet on the first goal to be scored. You can bet one player from each team, and if both lose, you get your money back. Obviously, if one of those wins, they're not going to give you your money back, but you don't really care in that scenario because you've got one of your two caches at an obscene plus money to hit because it's first goal score, and and you know you just obviously made a lot of profit. So given that they'll get, let you pick one player from each team, for Villarreal, I'll pick Pal Torres. This is one of their center backs, so not one of their guys that you would think that maybe I would pick, not an attacking player. But if there's one thing Manchester United haven't been able to do this season, it's defend set pieces. Under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, they, they use this zone marking crap that I absolutely hate. It leads to goals being scored on corners by guys just being able to create some separation. They get up and they get some free headers. And Manchester United has given up goals on corners and, and free kicks throughout the season enough to drive me crazy enough to drive me so crazy that i just went ahead and took one of these two center backs this one has has more goals than the other center back so that's why i took torres there so you can see it's at plus four thousand so if this man wants to be the first goal scorer he can net a cool five hundred dollars just to start off my day so there you go torres will be the first goal scorer there for billary out and then for manchester united it just took cavani I mean, don't overcomplicate it. Could it be Rashford? He's going to start. Yeah, obviously could be Rashford. If they take a penalty, it's going to be Bruno Fernandes because he's going to be the one that takes that PK. Or I also think Greenwood's going to get the start on the right-hand side, and it could also be Greenwood. But it could also be Cavani, and I'm not going to not pick the easiest play on a risk-free bet. Give me the safest option, the, the pure number nine, the pure number nine who's been scoring all the goals, scored in both legs against Roma, got their only goal against Fulham. He's been scoring goals lately at a really high clip. So to me, it was easy for Manchester United to take their full, first goal scorer there at Cavani at plus 440, and that one there can win us $55, so a little bit over uh, three units if we can go ahead and get Cavani to be the first goal scorer. So that's how I'm going to roll there in that promo. I encourage you guys to do that in terms of if you have bar stools, these are not bets I would make if I don't have the risk-free opportunity, but they are risk-free. Just make sure you opt into the promo. And then go ahead and uh, take Torres and Cavani with me, and let's see if one of these guys can't be the first goal scorer. All right, in terms of actual bets for this game, or well, those are actual bets, ours, but in terms of non promo bets, I should say, I'm going to go ahead and obviously take Manchester United on that money line. Manchester United on that money line. You're not going to be surprised by any of these bets that I'm going to give you. Manchester United on that money line is at minus 115. I mean, they should get the job done. I don't see this going to extra time. And obviously, therefore, I don't obviously see it even getting the penalties. I think they're going to win the job, do the job in 90 minutes. They are the better team. Let's go, Manchester United. Let's get that money line, and let's get it at minus 115. I'm also doing Manchester United team total over 1.5 goals. They could obviously win at 1-0, but I think they're going to get 2-plus easily. 2-plus easily, and this one's at plus money, at plus 102. I love that bet over at plus money. So Manchester United team total over 1.5 goals. Love it. Love that bet. Love it. All right, now I'm going to do a couple of player props. There are so many bets I thought about doing this game. I like the over and the offsides. I like the over on possession in this game. There was that 54.5. The offsides, by the way, was at 2.5 for me. There are so many bets I could make in this game, but I want I had, I had, to, had to pull in the reins and limit it a little bit, having obviously a terrible week. There are two player props, though, that I love. They're all centered around my man Cavani. For the first one, it's Cavani to have two-plus shots on target. Hell, I think he's going to get a goal, obviously. So now I just need him to possibly get one more shot on target. And it comes in at plus 185. Cavani to have two shots on target is at plus 185. I love that. And then I'm going to do another one with Cavani. Cavani just have three shots. Just for Cavani to have three shots. And that's at minus 106. Minus 106. Oh, yeah, I, I love Cavani. Like I said, the, the form he's been in, the goal-scoring form he's been in, the focal point that he's been in terms of being the true number nine on this team the last handful of weeks, he's the guy. So I got no problem using two player props and backing Cavani on both of them. So that's what we'll do there. As for one other bet to give for you guys, as for the free bet, uh, the free giveaway bet, obviously those are continuing now. We're now on the third free giveaway bet. I put that one for you guys on Manchester United team total over 1.5 goals. Just 
love, love, love their ability to absolutely get two goals in this game. So that's the free giveaway bet. And if it wins, as you can see right there, you'll win $24 on tomorrow's show. So get two goals, Manchester United. Somebody will win $24 on tomorrow's show. I've got some baseball leans, guys. They're only leans now because I haven't put my money behind it. If this soccer game cooperates, we'll, we'll be getting in some soccer bets. There are definitely action that light today. So I'm not going to reveal them now because, you know, just, just want to wait and make sure this soccer game can be cool to us. And then you guys can find me on Twitter to just fire off face, baseball bets as long as this soccer game, again, goes our way and is cool right there. So just look for me on Twitter to get you there, guys, some baseball bets a little bit later on. Otherwise, guys, I'm rolling like this for the Europa League game. Obviously, I'm super pumped. 2 p.m. Central Time. Can't come soon enough. Don't call me. Don't distract me during the game. I'm going to be in front of the TV set watching Manchester United lift the trophy in 90 minutes when they secure the win and get over two goals. Join me, guys, on this final. It's going to be a good game. Let's go Manchester United. All right, guys, that's how I'm doing it today. I got to get some wins up under my belt. I'm not going too crazy in terms of firing out now four more baseball bets behind these bets. I got to gotta hit these bets, and then we'll do the baseball. There's some good baseball action. Giants. Giants on the money line, folks. Giants on the money line. That's a good bet. That's a good bet. All right, guys, I'll uh, check for me on Twitter if we uh, pull a trick on any baseball bets, and then we'll come back here on tomorrow, and we'll do it again. All right, guys, have a good one. Thanks for watching this episode of Winning Bets. I'm Jason Mattis. I'll see you again when we are celebrating the wins and making more winning bets. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more winning bets.